Hi there, welcome to this video. I want to show you a new type of stream uh, that I created so anybody, regardless of who they are, can get a help on live stream. And not just from, you know, my uh, psychological knowledge, but also from other people in chat, you know, from the community, which is probably what, what matters. You know, when there are loads of people and they all have their life experience, they can give you some insights, you know, some uh, point of view that's different to yours. And it could help you a lot. If you want, you can give me a follow on Twitch and check out my schedule so you will know when I will be live. I will be adding some more days when the community will grow, of course. And how it works is that anybody who's watching my stream can go to the uh, About Me site of uh, my Twitch page and click on uh, this link here, which will bring them just to this page where they can join the chat. Uh, and then find the users and myself. Do a direct message and send me something and when I will see it and you will be the first one in the queue I can just uh, show the chat with you on the screen so uh, we can share you know uh, your problems and uh, your things with me and the community and we can all give you some advice and insights you know and I also added a new feature because some people from the chat uh, were a little bit hesitant uh, to join in and give their own opinions because it was based probably on their own experience. So there's also an anonymous group chat where you can join and share your experience or your advice in anonymous mode too. But it just have to be related to the main topic that we are solving. If you have some other problem, um, you have to go to the queue and uh, wait for your time, you know. But it's also really easy, just the same link, you know, uh, join the chat and instead of uh, finding me, uh, you're in the group chat already, you know? <laughs> and the great thing is that this anonymous chat works also on the mobile phones. So you can just, if you're using the Twitch app, uh, hit the home button and it will minimize uh, the stream. So you will see the stream and also what you are working on. And just find my websites, you know, kilian.info slash anonymous and join the chat. It's easy as that. And there is also an indicator in the bottom right corner uh, how many people are in the queue, so you won't miss out. You can really share with us anything that uh, you're stuck with, any problem, any question, any story, really anything. And you don't have to be uh, worried that you know your identity will be compromised somehow. Like back in the days, Twitch uh, nicknames used to be um, uh, anonymous things, but now we are using them so much in this community that they are not anonymous anymore. So I think this uh, royal feature will help to grow a little bit healthier community. And to show you how it actually works, uh, I will show you a short version of a recent community help stream where we are solving a problem with procrastination. I think it's a highly relatable uh, thing, so uh, maybe you will find something interesting for you in a specific case. And just to explain, in this specific case, uh, viewers were so shy, there were like six people here, uh, that they didn't uh, add anything to the story, so it was all on me. So I will really appreciate if you will, for example, just drop by and <laughs> help with the other cases, you know. Uh, it could uh, help you to build empathy and also um, widen your point of view because you will have to think about their point of view and how it, dif how it differs to your point of view and it could be really interesting. And now, of course, the recording. Uh, if you have some kind of uh, issue that you are trying to solve or any question in your life or anything, you know, just to be clear for, you know, the legal reasons, uh, I'm not like, you know, some prof professional help for people. Um, I'm here just a as a person. Like, I, yeah, I am a psychologist, but, uh, you know, for legal reasons, it's just my opinion and you know, nothing, uh, nothing that should be taken over any um, professional help or anything. Yeah, <laughs> totally open. Well, if you procrastinate, then a lot. Okay, like everybody is procrastinating someone uh, somehow, but if you procrastinate a lot and it's somehow, you know, getting against uh, what you want to do. If you want to work on things and, you know, you're still watching Twitch. 
<laughs> or some other things you are doing, you know. And then, actually, I made a video about this, about uh, procrastination and what, what can you do about that. And it's always something different for each and every person. Yeah. Yeah, I see. That's, that's really the usual problem. Uh-huh. Actually, you know, that there is a different um, kind of a reason for everyone. Because, um, yeah, everybody is different. It's some kind of a basic thing that probably everybody knows. <laughs> but do you know, like, why uh, are you, like, motivated uh, to do the other things or you're not motivated to uh, do things that uh, you want to do? Or, you know, some sometimes there is also a problem in uh, relaxation because... Uh, yeah, if, if you feel uh, like you have to be doing something else and you're still uh, wasting time, uh, then you're probably not resting enough, you know, anyway. Do you feel like that when you're, you know, procrastinating, when you're wasting time, that you have to be doing something else and it's still on your mind like, oh crap, I wanted to do something else that's really bad, but you're still doing those things? Or you're just having it as a relax and... You're totally okay with that wasted time. How do you feel feel that uh, aspect of it? Yeah, like no motivation to do things that you want to be doing, like uh, doing things to school or something. Right? But can you can you answer the the previous question if you feel yeah can you answer if you feel like you have to be doing uh, some things when you are procrastinating like when when you are doing the other things like if you feel guil guilty actually when you're trying to hmm. Wait in. Not so guilty. Okay, so we are totally okay. And do, do you feel it as a kind of a re relaxation? Does it give you, you know, energy or something? I was just asking because that's that's a general kind of problem that people sometimes are doing loads of other things. They are, you know, playing games or watching Twitch or YouTube and loads of other stuff. And they are st still have that little something in their mind, like I have to be doing things to to work. I have to be doing things to school. I can't be doing this. And they are still, you know, watching the, that little video and other video and other video. And they are still thinking about it because then they are not relaxed and they are not um, feeling actually well, you know. And then they have to relax more. Uh, then they have to procrastinate more because they need that energy and. They have no energy to do the, do the productive things. But if you are not feeling so guilty, then maybe that's not your problem. And um, there could be also think about the motivation. Um, it's usually with some specific thing or it's like in general, like all the productive things, you know. Is it, for example, mainly with a schoolwork or, or is it also some kind of, you know, cleaning your room or everything you just don't don't want to be active like and all the people in the chat also if you have some insight on this or some kind of your own experience definitely join the chat and you can join your opinion on, on this mm -hmm. okay oh so Wow, so you're procrastinating instead of uh, learning things to school. Oh, maybe that's a problem with self-confidence. That could be also some aspect of the problem. So it's like feeling that uh, you don't uh, have a chance to do those things. Like you don't think that you can try hard enough so you don't try at all is that what you're saying or did i get it wrong 
So it's like both things at the same time. You think that you, oh, or is it like that uh, you're bored um, doing the, those uh, like usual things, and you're doing the other things, but to you know justify it for yourself, you think that you wouldn't pass it anyway or something? Oh, I see. But still, that means that you know the self-confidence. It's maybe not the main problem if it's just, you know, justification. So maybe just the fact that you don't like what you're doing. Uh, actually, do you like what kind of school are you attending? Like the, uh, the type of school or is it just like a general school? Like, did, did, you, did you choose uh, what school you want to study? Yeah. But you still don't like to do things um, at that school. Because one source of the motiv motivation could be the things that, you know, you can do with all the all this knowledge. Oh, you're not sure. Mm-hmm. So maybe you changed your mind. Mm-hmm. I definitely don't want to tell you, yeah, drop that school and do something else, you'll be cool. Um, you know, that sometimes is a really bad, bad thing because you just have to... Uh-huh. You sometimes just have to stick to it and have a look if it's really that bad, if there actually isn't the thing that you like. But do, do you like what you can do with the school, like, uh, you know, the end goal of that, all things that you are trying to do now. Because, you know, you are studying things right now and gaining knowledge that you will need for some other things that you will do in the future. <clears throat> do you still like the fu future idea that you, you know, you had at the beginning? Because that could be a great source for the motivation, you know. Oh, <laughs> that's a that's a great goal. <laughs> I think <clears throat> I think every every school have that kind of um, kind of a goal, and you like that type of a job that uh, could you know result in all that effort. Is it your? Prefer job. And is is it the only thing that you kind of like right now, or did you find an, anything else? Because there, if there is a problem with uh, motivation, there there are different paths how to solve it. You know, uh, one thing, one possible option is to change the path, to change uh, the school. I don't want to really. I don't want to tell you to drop the school and go to another school. That sometimes it's even impossible and in the corona times it would be super hard but you know you can still search for some other motivation inside of the things that you already chose because um, you know that there could be a different kind of a job or job opportunity that you can be studying for uh, with the same studying program so you can have a look at it what will make you happy or something or you can also learn a little bit more about the job if you just don't have uh, full information on that maybe if you learn a little bit more then you will see why you want to do it or why you like it you know but the other thing that i also put in into that video thing it's it's really great uh, thing for anyone that you can use anytime because when you have some kind of a goal and you cannot change it right now, like 
probably you cannot change the school uh, just you know from day to day it would be really a big thing because you, you cannot change the school and you probably have to finish the semester or like the you know school year then it's something that you have to be doing anyway you know you have to uh, go to go to that school and you have to do the all the homework and stuff like that and learn things yeah so the that's the thing that you cannot change uh, they have no power over you know changing the school right now uh, but the way how to how to gain that motivation could be sometimes uh, just to change something that you can change and that's the way if you will enjoy it or not you know because yeah it's very really silly to do things uh, and don't like them because you will have to do it do it anyway you know like you can find anything that's that's good about that thing uh, instead of thinking oh this this is bad because it's this and that and I don't like it because uh, it's boring and things like that try to switch that mindset and find something that you like about it you know uh, there is always something that you can like about it some homeworks are really creative so you can you know use that creativity and get something done express yourself a little bit more and enjoy that part of it some things are really really monotonous you know like um, you are doing the same uh, examples of I don't know uh, some example like math you know some some uh, homeworks are really the same thing over and over again but still you can enjoy it as, as a monotonous activity uh, as kind of a relax because nobody thinks about you know maths problem um, as a relax but it really could be if you don't have to think about it that much and you have to just do huge quantity of it you can just go through it and you know relax your mind and if it's really challenging math, math problems I'm talking about math but I don't know what you're studying you know um, if you uh, have it really challenging then it's challenging your mind and mind and you can you know take it as a challenge accept it and work on it you know like make it a little adventure you can always turn some not so enjoyable things into a really enjoyable one so, you know yeah like we can have a talk about some direct example like what kind of uh, homework do you have to do right now or uh, yeah for example I I don't know why but I really love challenges like when there is something challenging I would just go in and I want to yeah I want to really make the best thing that I can do learn something about it and yeah that's the usual thing that I really want to do so that does it make sense for you just to you know um, to have that kind of motivation or do you want to go through some example like if you will tell us some kind of um, example problem or anything like that that you want to yeah great great <laughs> perfect mm-hmm but it's just a short-term short-term short uh, solution this is what we are talking about right now because mm -hmm. oh yeah <laughs> I thought that this is the thing that you are studying but really it's it's just a short-term short-term solution to enjoy things it's great to do it anytime when you're you know working on anything uh, just if you cannot change it and you're not enjoying it just think about how can you enjoy it and yeah, just not torture yourself <laughs> it makes no sense to just uh, make your life worse for no reason <laughs> but for a long time it really depends if you really want to do it like as a job or if you want to change the university or maybe just change the the field that you are trying to cover because for example when, when I was studying psychology uh, 
there is like loads of different types of psycho like different fields inside of the psychology and yeah learning loads of the usual general stuff like the general psychology you know about the mind and about uh memory and uh perception and you know all, all the stuff is really boring also you know but when you see the little detail that you want to um uh, you know make your work about or you want to uh, specialize in that little thing then suddenly you know the the general stuff could look a little bit more interesting because yeah it's still a little bit boring but at least you know that you need it for the other things that you will do in the future that you want to be studying and you can be studying a little bit of um, that little spe specialization in your free time you know you know, during the evening or something it's a really great thing to do uh, first because uh, you know you will have some knowledge about it and you will use it later because it will be in your mind and you will be kind of a amateur uh, expert in that kind of a field and then you can you know build your uh, other knowledge on, on top of it and also it will keep your motivation because you will see for example every week uh that there is still something why you want to do the other stuff for you know do you have something in the that quantum physics that you want to be doing or anything that that was the initial idea why you were starting with that program oh okay so it was like everything is a little bit gray and boring but this is at least a little bit inter interesting of them all. Hmm. Yeah, I see. Oh, well, sometimes the first choice isn't the best. <laughs> it's just how it is. Like my first school, like in university, I was for one and a half years on uh, just um, economic university, you know, it's, it was management of uh, travel and, you know, tourism. Because I thought it fits kind of good. And I wanted to do psychology before and everybody was telling me, no, you can't do it. Uh, it's just, you know, uh, it's horrible. You will be working with uh, loads of crazy people and you can't make any money with it and, and stuff like that, you know. So I didn't apply for that. and. When I was looking at the other universities, nothing was kind of good. So, just sent some, uh, you know, some applications. I got into that management thing, just by luck, because <laughs> I was I wasn't studying for the for the exams, but I was there, and still I think it was a great experience. But I see what you mean. You're just studying something, and you don't know if you want to do it anymore. But the solution is really yours. It depends what you want to do because there is a solution to find something that you really enjoy about it. And the other solution could be also to find something else that you really enjoy. I don't know how, how it is in your country, but uh, for example, like in our country, we can switch school or like study a uh, free, free years program for four years. Uh, so we can just switch for uh, after the first uh, year to other, another university and just study and uh, something else when we want to. But it could be a little bit different. I know that in America, for example, when you are paying for all those semesters, it's very really hard to change because you will actually lose everything that you, that you are working on. It really, it really depends. So that was it. Thank you for watching. I hope that I showed you a new safe space where you can be welcome no matter who you are. And um, I'm Karel Kilian and see you on stream or in the next YouTube video.